So Matt, Charlie James, welcome to the hot desk. Hi, thank it's you for having me. It's kind of familiar, <laughs> right? It is very familiar setting. I yeah. like it here. I feel warm, I feel comfortable, yeah. I feel happy. Good, well, welcome back. Thank I mean, you all have history. Charlie, you were actually the first ever hot desk interviewee. I believe I was. In 2007. On the roof, Anna. on the roof of Coco in Epic. Camden. Um, you were the first ever hot the desk. The first ever hot desk. Really? 2007. That's, that's madness. That feels like a long time ago now. Yeah, and now you're here all together exactly. with a brand new album, which is out really soon, Night Driver. Yes. Yes. So shall we take a look at a little snippet of the new video on what you're on? Yes. 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 All right, Let's here do it. that. So that was the video. Yes. Pretty epic. Yes. Really funny as well, because I feel like everybody knows somebody like the girl in the video. Do you know what I mean? Like, we yeah. all know someone that's had one of those nights. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's kind of what the song is kind of getting at, is yeah. that we've all kind of met these people in our lives who are just on a different wavelength to you. Mm, like, James absolutely. Bourne is that to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, <laughs> I want to be on what he's on. Is the whole album that smooth? It's mm. quite eclectic, actually. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't think people necessarily listen to albums the way they used to. Do you know what I mean? Like, with the way music is now, people just listen to tracks and they kind of, um, and the way they share music is so mm. kind of all over the place that we've, I think we've made an album that you can put on from start to finish and you can really absorb that whole record. So what was your favourite part about getting together and making that album? Instead of making demos and then recording them, we basically just wrote and recorded at the same time. Wow. So what we actually put down, and the guy that we were working with, a guy called John Fields, works very fast. And so he would just tell us to go in and do a vocal, and I'd be like, OK, start singing and say, right, that's a good sort of demo, and we'll come back to that. He's like, no, you won't, that's it. Wow, and I'm like, time-saving. Really? I know, yeah. but it wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It wasn't a time-saving thing. It was just like, no, that's, it was yeah. like that's great. And, and, I, and it would really sort of change my, my perception of how to record records, because mm. sometimes the, the magic is in that first take. Absolutely. It's in, you know, it's the first time you do it. Yeah. So a lot of what you're hearing on this record is the first time we played a guitar or sang. The first take is what we went with a lot of the time. Yeah. And talk to me about that first time going back on stage together. Did you all kind of look at each other and be like, oh, my God, is this real? Like, what did, what did it feel like? Yeah, it was, the Wembley was the first show. And the last show we did in 2004 was Wembley. That's um, mad. And it was, it was weird. Like, I love was, that. Don't start off small. Just no. go straight in at Wembley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Some might say that's quite cocky. I thought it was exceedingly cocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we, we, Got reason we, to be cocky. It's yeah. all good. There was, like, there was a weird sense of sort of uncertainty. It was a bit... It was a bit wasn't it? It was a bit like, what is going to happen? Mm. Yeah, it was crazy. Tense, it was a bit mental. tense. Mm. And like, I don't um, think anyone really thought, because uh, you know, this has been something that was, no one ever thought they'd see again. What are your sort of goals? What are your aims? Like, stay together long enough yeah. <laughs> that we can uh, try <clears throat> and go to some, uh, some, some places we never got to go the first time. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, to try and perform in some territories that we didn't get a chance to go to. Um, that'd be a, one for me, yeah. especially. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. Yeah. Should we play a little game? Yes. Love to. Yes. I'm going to read out some scenarios, and if it applies to you, then you've just got to shout, busted! So, have you ever read through someone's text messages? Busted. <laughs> busted. Uh, I don't... What, actually gone into the phone and done it? I don't think yeah. I have. Not for a as long opposed to time. What? As opposed, to, ways as opposed to it ble being on the side and bleeping and you're reading the text because it's bleep. Yeah, that counts as well. Oh, you okay, still read busted. the text. Okay. <laughs> yeah, busted. Yeah. Fancy the friend's mum? <laughs> busted. <laughs> <laughs> busted. Busted. <laughs> Lied about your age. Busted. busted. <laughs> really. Said, do you know who I am? Never done that. No? No, never done that. Well, Matt's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in America recently, we went to a bar and, um, and um, in America you get ID'd everywhere you go. Yeah. And Charlie wanted a beer. And like they were just like, I'm sorry, so if you don't have any idea, we can't serve you. So he Wikipedia'd himself and said, <laughs> and said, look here. All right, now you guys are putting out your brand new album, but I want to get your creative juices flowing and help you think up a name for your next album. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get two descriptions, and then at the end, we're going to decide which is the best new album name. So James, first of all, I want the word that best describes the person to your left. Posh. Uh, and the first object that you see? The necklace thing around your neck. OK, posh necklace. Charlie, I want your favourite sandwich filling. Chorizo. Chorizo. <laughs> that is 
Absolutely <laughs> hilarious. That's so posh. That is That's a posh thing to say. I was, I was, I was genuinely expecting <laughs> partridge. <laughs> I was genuinely expecting partridge. I was going to go, hmm. In partridge. my simple head, I just had like peanut butter, jam. <laughs> <laughs> Chirizzo. And the next thing is the year you were born. 1985. Okay, Chirizo, 85. You're welcome, guys. Nice, I like so it. Nice. You're very welcome. I'm going to ask you guys a question now, and I want you to think about the answer, and then when I say go, everybody answer at the same time, okay? Okay. So it's like a who is kind of vibe. I want to know who's the best answer. Go. Me. James. <laughs> oh, outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> James is so not on this quick fire vibe. I, 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 I was <laughs> waiting to see what they said, because I wanted, I wanted to split the judges. Because <laughs> I, I knew Matt was going to say Matt. And you, I had a feeling... You gonna... said James. James, who you Charlie. Said? Charlie. OK, oh, just to mix it up. Absolutely not. No? I'm a terrible dancer. OK, who's the coolest? Go. Matt. Charlie. But thank you, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> um, who's the worst with money? That's quite a good one. Who's the, the worst with oh, money? Oh, I know yeah. the answer to this one. Really? Yeah, mm. I do know the answer. To, I mean, it's, actually, it's a matter of opinion. I mean, I, I would say I do, I do buy silly things with money yeah, sometimes. Like what? I've, uh, the bed from The Shining. That. Um, <laughs> he did buy that. The, yeah, the, you know the the, the, sh the bed in the room for the axe wielding scene. Yeah, actual, the that, actual that bed. Yeah. And Matt um, has a Matt has a sort of Amazon disease. addiction. Addiction. <laughs> so. It's a genuine problem, Charlie. So just like anything. Mustn't mock. Yeah. It's a disease, <laughs> Aluminium Charlie. knives that cut right. through coke cans. I love it. Yeah. He's got it. I'm a bit of a sucker for um. He's a sucker for anything. For, for anything. Right, if there's anything, if there's, if someone sells me something, I'm like, that sounds incredible, <laughs> I'll buy it. So here at the hot desk, we like to play a little game called call, text or reject, okay? okay? So let me set the scenario for you. You've got three missed calls on your phone um, and they are from promoters that have some interesting and quite out there opportunities for you. So you can call one back and say, yep, I'd love to. You can text one and say, mm, probably not, but maybe. Uh, and then you have to reject one. Anna Wintour's called. She wants you on the cover of Vogue. You've been offered no speaking parts as fighter pilots in the next Star Wars movie. That's good. And you've been offered to play a gig on the next Virgin Galactic space flight. Oh, uh, what, actually in space? Yeah. Oh, Surely yeah. you'd do that. <laughs> I want to be a fire could, pilot, Charlie. You could, be, you could be a fire pilot, but you don't have any speaking But writing. you wouldn't be really flying the fire pilot. No, but you'd be in Star you'd Wars, You'd be in bro. space. You would be in a real life Star Wars. No, I think maybe we should go to space. I think space. S playing yeah. space. Yeah. Real we'll life space. We're not fussed about the front cover of Vogue? It's too cool for us. I don't think we're cool enough for Vogue. That is the end of the show. Thank you so much. Amazing. All that is left for you to do now is sign our hot desk. Yes. Yay! Yay! Yay. Um, so now it's like finding a space, really. Yeah.